Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I decided to build a Moroccan dream mansion. So for this build, I've used the Courtyard Oasis kit and also lots of other packs. I built this in Dasa Valley. This is a 64 by 64 lot. And I was inspired by a picture that I saw on Pinterest. There is a bridge or an area which almost looks like a donut and I felt super inspired and I decided to use this as an inspiration and I turned it into my own build. You can here see how I'm using platforms. I just used round platforms and combined them. The update with the round walls still isn't out yet, so I had to find a way to just figure this out. So I just used round platform pieces. This is a really cute trick that can be used to mimic round walls very easily. But I mean, the cool thing is very soon we won't have to do that anymore. And we will be able to use some proper curved rooms and we just have to be a little bit patient. But I still had to find a way to implement this exact shape into the this house so that's what I did and then I started to work on the bridge for this I've used the base game rock that I'm always using for this and this fence piece is from get together it's just a decorative fence piece that can be found in the decoration section I think where you can found sculptures so it's not like a regular fence and I'm just rotating it holding down alt on my keyboard and the left mouse button and I'm following the shape of the rock to create this perfect bridge. I then, as you will see, decided to use this body stony goodness slab and usually I'm using all these objects just for decorative reasons, but in this case I decided to use this body stony goodness slab around it just so the whole area would be thicker because I will have to be able to just kind of hide the floor piece in there because I'm just removing floor pieces section by section so it looks like a bridge and it is a bridge like it will be functional and this just makes it easier you will see what I mean when I'm starting to remove the floor pieces and at first I just wanted to have this hole in the ground but I then also decided to just have a complete like in the whole process as you will see I've removed more and more of the ceiling of the floor and I just had a gigantic basement like the whole garden will be a basement essentially but this was a process like at first I wasn't really sure what to do and yeah this is like what what happened also, I'm sorry if I sound a bit tired or something. We have like the worst heat wave ever right now. I feel just so exhausted. I could barely sleep because it was too hot. We had 38 degrees Celsius. It was just, it's just really bad. Like over here in Europe, usually we don't have a air condition in our homes. Like it's not as expected or normal as in the US for example. Our homes are also built to trap heat usually because most of the time it can be really cold. So all there is is just sitting in front of a fan and just trying to survive. So it's like quite exhausting. But tomorrow things will be better finally, like only 20 degrees, which is like the most crazy thing to me. Like it's quite cold, especially for summer. Sometimes it's a bit chilly and then like the next day it's like so hot. And then the next day it's quite cold, like it's up and down, up and down. But I'm just really happy that tomorrow it will be much better. And also tonight we're going to order some food and we'll have a nice meal. It's my boyfriend's birthday today and I'm so excited. And we just decided to order some food because it's still quite hot today and we like didn't feel like really going out. It's really bad. Like usually we like he likes to go to the zoo and this would be so cool and I was kind of excited to just go out especially now that it's like possible again but it's like so hot and just so exhausting and I don't know I know that some people really love the heat but I don't and he also doesn't also it's like a difference like over here the heat is mostly very humid so it's like really horrible like over here it's like when we go on vacation in Europe or somewhere else, like in other areas, like more in the south or something, south of Europe or just anywhere, the heat usually is much drier and it's like really nice and lovely. But over here, the heat is humid, which is what makes things <laughs> really, really difficult. Yeah, I don't want to complain, but this is like, this has been a whole thing yesterday. It, whole, the whole of Europe has been complaining <laughs> everywhere. It's just really exhausting. 
And yeah, here I've finished the bridge. I decided to use lots of objects from Cartier Oasis because this was my mission. I really wanted this to look like a Moroccan Riyadh. And the cool thing is it's a round Riyadh. So the main idea for a build like this when you build a Moroccan build is to have a Riyadh, which is kind of a garden, which is hidden. So you have a house and then you have an area in the center, which is open. So it's a garden, there might be a pool, but there is lots of privacy, which is just super cool. And I wanted to do the same here and I wanted to use the bridge idea to turn this into a round Riyadh. So down there I've placed a pool and tables and chairs so the Sims can just hang out there. So it serves the purpose of a Riyadh, but it's round. This usually wouldn't be the case and usually there would be like a second floor above the area so it's a bit different i just tried to turn it into my own riyadh but yeah this is kind of the main idea like to have this round riyadh down there to have the functional bridge the bridge consists out of floor pieces as you saw so it's like very functional and it just the sims can just walk on it later on i'm going to attach a just, just some stairs in the back so the sims can enter the garden down there which is also super cool man my voice is also kind of weird today i don't know what it is <laughs> like a weird day so i don't know if i sound a bit rough again i'm sorry so i've used the sofas armchair coffee table from cardiac oasis this beautiful plant in the background is also from cardiac oasis but this tiny cute little palm tree is from the base game and I used both of them. I really love the plan we got in the kit. It's just perfect for this vibe but I just think a little palm tree just it's just perfect for this type of vibe. I then decided to use a just a roof, a round roof to have a dome. I don't know if some of you remember the Cardiad Oasis Dimension that I've created right after the pack came out and I followed a tutorial by Phantasms back then to have like this dome made out of nightstands or coffee tables and I used two for this to rotate lots of tables to have this really over the top dome and this was so much fun as well but here I wanted to keep it more simple and low-key and I just used a regular round roof. Also speaking of round roofs I kind of wish that we would get more roof options for the like the curved walls we have a round roof obviously i just used it and it's like a just a staple in the scheme but i think it would be so cool if we would have more options to create some different shapes because sometimes it can be really hard to have a round area and you just put a roof on top and you can connect it all it always looks a bit weird like roofing can be hard but as soon as you have some round shapes you want to incorporate some regular roofs things get really tricky but who knows maybe one day i'm also still hoping for round pools and a lot of you have talked about spiral stairs like i've read some comments where you were talking about spiral stairs and you're totally right spiral stairs would make so much sense because when you build a tower for a castle for example using some curved rooms it would make sense to have spiral stairs so the sims can walk up luckily we at least have ladders because I don't think that round pools or spiral stairs will come with this update. I think it might be in some future updates, but I don't think it's coming now. The game changes already got access to the curved walls. I think there aren't any surprises, but it could be wrong. I don't know, but maybe one day. But for now, we will at least be able to use some letters, which is like really cool. Like when you don't have a lot of space, it's always good to have a letter. So here you can see how I'm removing more and more of the ceiling. <laughs> like I've added another basement area and this is the Spade Monolith. I sized it down I think two steps and I just placed it below the curved sheep. And this way it looks like as if the bridge is kind of supported and I have a lovely round sheep. You don't need the two mod for any of this. You can just create the bridge the way I did at the very beginning where I'm rotating all these objects using Alt and the left mouse button and I did the same for the Spade Monolith and when you watch my most recent tutorial which is about round pools you will get the idea and 
you will understand how to rotate objects in case you have no idea. And no, you don't need tool for this. I love tool, but I just try to avoid it when I can create something without it. So everyone can just replicate this and try it themselves. So I just try to like stay away from it when it's not needed. But when it's needed, I'm using it <laughs> because I love the tool mod. And I still wish that when The Sims 5 comes out, that it would be just a part of the game. I wish they could just team up with Tristan Maxi and make it a thing in Sims 5. Like this would be the coolest thing ever, like really involving him because it's his, it's just his idea, the whole feature. And this would be like the coolest thing ever. I don't know if he, if you would be interested in that, like I have no idea, but this is like something that I think would be so cool. And I would be so hyped up to like see this possibility becoming reality for him. I don't know, maybe one day. And then I just added lots of doorways. I wanted this to be very open. Like, I think the doorways are so beautiful, but I still wanted to have like windows in some areas. So I simply used the move objects sheet and some modern windows from Ecolize style in these doorways to make it look like a window. And I also have this really weird round area, <laughs> which I created using the platforms as you saw in the beginning. Technically, if you are really in love with this build, you could just use the round walls once they come out and replace these areas. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, just felt inspired to do this. Like this would have been a cool build, obviously, right after the update comes out. But I don't really like to hold off any ideas. Like when I feel inspired to do something, I like really like to, to build it. And also Shannon McClam had the idea to build a oasis, a mansion like this. So thank you so much. And I just wanted to really do it now. <laughs> like I don't like to just wait when I have an idea, when I feel like building something, I just want to build, build, build. So that's what I did. And recently it's been so much fun. Building is always fun, but like recently it's been like, let's go. I'm building all the time. It was just so tedious to furnish this because of the heat. And right now while I'm recording this, I turned the fan off, which is like constantly on all day. And this is also such an issue because you just have to keep the fan on because it's too hot and you feel like you are melting. But at some point it gets so annoying because you have the constant noise, no matter if you are trying to sleep, if you are in front of the computer, it's always on. You always have this loud noise in the background. And every year when a heat wave is over and you like finally turn off the fan, you just appreciate the silence for a minute. It's like so surreal and I just can't wait for tomorrow. Like turning all the fans off. I mean, right now it's also off, but I'm, I'm hearing myself talk. I don't think it counts, but I'm just really trying to just pull through here without a fan because the fan noise would be just super annoying for you. <laughs> like, like the fan blowing into the mic. No one wants this. I also want to give a little shout out to the brand new channel of X Urban Sims. Jen has created a new channel. You will find the link in the description box. Please go support her and subscribe. She has lost access to her old main channel, which has over 400k subscribers. And so far YouTube is no help. Like she tried to reach out to YouTube to get access back, but they couldn't help her. She got a new phone number, I think, and hadn't changed like the phone number in the account and she can't access the account. And her best bet was to just move on and create a new account. But there is hopefully still hope that she will regain access to her old account but yeah let's just support Jen and subscribe to her new account she's amazing and I just can't imagine what she's going through she has built her channel for I think 11 years well over a decade and she's just so amazing and a YouTube channel is always a labor of love and I just can't imagine losing access to my channel and I'm just I'm just so sad for her and I just I was so shocked when I saw this yesterday and I reached out to her and I'm just like I'm just so sad about the whole thing it's just really bad and I just wish that in a case like this YouTube could help I hope that there can be some type of solution but yeah just go support Jen and show her all the love and just help her through this very difficult time. 
So here at this point, I'm decorating the Riyadh. I'm just going to call it Riyadh. It's a curved Riyadh. And I used some hedges to just hide some of the windows. I just sized them up and placed them down there. And they looked a bit weird because they were like in the, in the middle of the round area. And I just wanted to add some bushes or hedges to make it look more fancy. I then started to decorate the bridge a bit. I used these lounge chairs and just different objects so the bridge kind of serves a purpose I mean it is a bridge and it's connecting the house to the garden and your sims can just walk on the bridge but I also wanted to add some furniture to the bridge so it's more functional so there is a table and some chairs lounge chairs all kinds of different things and it then moved on to furnish the house so I wanted this to look like the just the vibe of the kid I wanted this to look Moroccan at the same time I wanted this to look modern and very a bit minimalistic I used these blue chairs and I used them different areas and also some other blue furniture because I wanted this to look very fresh and like summer I just wanted to catch this vibe I also once again used Schnook's tutorial <laughs> I think from now on she will always be linked in every description because I always use her tutorial now I just love this and I think it's like the best fireplace ever and it's like the type of fireplace that you would want for a house like this and I feel like whenever I'm building something modern, I just feel inclined to use this amazing tutorial. And yeah, shout out to Schnook once again. And you will, as always, I guess, find her, like her channel in the description. I used some cabinets from Dream Home Decorator below the TV to have this type of TV setup. So it looks very modern. I used lots of plants because I also feel like this adds to the whole Oasis vibe. So the exterior is like really over the top, but the interior is supposed to be like a regular mansion, but I still wanted to have this vibe and I used so many plants. I mostly used the plants from the Blooming Rooms kit, which is one of the best kits ever because you just have so many options for plants and brand new plants were so much needed. I used this little nook for the dining tables. I combined two of them because I wanted to have this really big dining space and I used the these fountains. I just found them in the fountain section to be honest and I just placed them on a wall. The mirror is from decor to the max and I love it. It's just so modern and I just placed it above. It doesn't make a lot of sense but it's just decorative and it looks really cool in my opinion and I just decorated the whole space. The kitchen has a really unique layout and like space in the house just as the dining room. But I felt because of all the doorways and the whole vibe, it just makes sense. And I kind of like that it's so open. I had just used a half wall to place all the counters and I just wanted this to be super bright and just really happy. I also used this table which can be used with bar stools just to have some type of breakfast area. So if your sims don't want to have a proper sit down dinner or like your like your dinner situation, I just wanted to have this breakfast area. Like I watched Queen of Versailles reigns again as you know and they call it the morning kitchen. So they have this kitchen that they are using to like just for for professional chefs I guess to serve food but they also have a morning kitchen where they can gather in the morning have a coffee so it's like more of a personal space I guess it's just a concept that you don't really I don't know it's just so weird you know when you just live a normal life and you hear about people having a morning kitchen like really interesting this is the spa area the whole floor plan was like it was so big at the bottom really spacious and I just knew that I like I just didn't want to add a third living room to be honest so I just thought it would be cool to have a spa area I used the wallpaper and floor color from spa day the glowing one for the pool I did this for my last mansion and I just realized I get this epiphany that this is probably what this was always supposed to be used for like this is why it's glowing because where would you have a glowing floor or wall it looks super weird but as soon as you use it in a pool or fountain it makes sense it just illuminates the water and it has like this LED look as I said in my last video so this is like uh, really, really interesting. And I used the bamboo from Spade. Whenever I'm building a spa, I just select Spade in the filter 
I filter by pack and then I just go to show all and there are like so many objects like whenever I'm building a spa I notice how many objects there are in spa day there's just everything a sofa armchair different plants just just everything there's like so much in this pack and I think it might be one of the best game packs maybe like at least if you are into building spas this is one of the bedrooms kind of the master bedrooms all bedrooms in this house have a bathroom so I made sure that there is like enough space so I was able to squeeze in bathrooms I didn't record all the bathrooms and also not all the bedrooms for this so in case you're wondering there are like I think five bedrooms I didn't include all of them in the video but you will see the screenshots and it's fully furnished you can grab this from the gallery and I just decided to use all the doorways and the windows for this room as well like for all the rooms I just placed them all around the room as you can see and I used curtains from eco lifestyle because they were kind of matching this is like always so difficult for me to find a matching curtain for this room I wanted to have like a bit of blue green like this bluish green color to you have a pop of color also a walk-in closet the painting also has a matching color just so it would all make sense and I think it's like just so much fun to build with this kid I I've said it before this is the best building kid or the best kid in general in the sims 4 and even if you're like a bit on the fence when it comes to kids i can still recommend this one like if you are a builder and if you want to create a house in this style i can recommend it because everything is matching you have these beautiful doorways it just looks so amazing almost like alpha cc like just too perfect almost you have this beautiful plant and and just everything the doorway is just i can just recommend it <laughs> And this is it. This video is slowly coming to an end. You can here see lots of screenshots and you can grab this build from the gallery. My ID is Kate Emerald. You can also grab the trade files from a Patreon. And speaking of which, it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons and my Emerald YouTube members. A big thank you to Mehmet Ali Baris Khan, Kamar Henderson, Alice Juridi, Charlotte, Asia, Emma Barnes, Lisa Martin, Saturated Spark, Shannon McClam, Telena Lynn, Stephen and Tina Turner. Thank you so much for your gigantic support. A big thank you to all my other Patreons and YouTube members. A big thank you to anyone who watches this video. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I love you all so much. I hope you will have a perfect day. In case you're also stuck in a heat wave, stay safe and hydrated. I love you all so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>